Hello and welcome back to the channel. Ryan Nordahl here with Epic Whitetail Habitat LLC. If you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and a share. And as always, any of the products or tools you see me using in these videos, you can always find links in the description below. Today, we're using the Domain Outdoor Instant pH Kit to test the pH of our soil. We have a small food plot here at our home. I've never tested the soil for pH on it, and that's all I want to know. Because on most food plot seed products that you get, they always have a rule of thumb on the recommendation of the amount of fertilizer that you should be applying at the time of seeding your food plots. So I'm worried about the pH. pH is the most critical, the most critical. You can forget all the fertilizer, but you gotta know pH. Never skip, skimp on adding lime or calcium to your soil profile. Today, it's gonna be very simple. I've already used this pill bottle, and got my soil in there. I'm gonna use distilled water. It's very important that you use distilled water when running one of these instant pH kits. Um, you can use any pH kit you want to. Amazon has all kinds of them but I prefer the Domain Outdoor one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add the distilled water to our soil sample here. Now the great thing about using this pill bottle is, and I'm gonna shake it up here, get back on our water. I'm gonna shake this up real good. The other thing that doing it this way will help you determine is it'll help you determine the types of soil that you have. You know, sand is going to be very coarse, and that sand is going to settle out in the bottom layer of this pill bottle. But we have a lot of clay soils here, so that's probably going to settle. But the point is, is your sand is going to settle first, then your clays, then your loams, and then your silt layer. And you'll be able to determine what's the primary soil type in your soil profile on your food plots. That's why I like doing it this way. One thing I learned back in tech school in soil science class. So, I'm gonna take that, we've got that mixed up real good. Take our test kit here. Now, I went ahead and I've got a soil probe, which makes it a heck of a lot easier to just Step it in, probe the amount of soil that I need from each little core that I take out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out one of those soil probes that I use. It's got an indication line on it just to take like six inches of soil. It's got a line on there so you don't take too much. And I like to drive it in at a little bit of an angle as well to hit that you know, when it comes to farming and agriculture and digging up a food plot, plowing up a field or whatever, you always go for that six inch um, tillage depth. And that's kind of what we're looking for there. But now we've got our instant pH test here. We've got our little litmus paper. And the color that we're looking for, We hopefully we're right in this six to seven category, of course. You can see it there, and it comes with these little strips right here. We're going to tear one off. We're going to... Now it's actually best to leave your solution sit for 15-20 minutes. So we're going to take a little break here, and we'll be back to test this as soon as we can. All right, it's been about 20-25 minutes, so we've had plenty of time to cover off of our sample here. Oh, and by the way. All that soil has settled out, you can see it here. You can see how fine it is. It tells me that it's good clay loam soil. Tear off our test strip here. Dip that in our solution. We should get a reading here fairly soon. And as it shows, we're running 
I think, right in between a six and a seven, so we're about where we need to be. That was pre-treated last year. We adjusted the pH on that. I just wanted to know this year. I'll probably add a little bit just to get it as close to seven as I possibly can. You can see the color chart again there. And we can see that our strip is eh, right in between. So right on where we need to be, but I want to get it as close to seven as I possibly can. So that's how we use the domain pH instant, instant pH test kit. Distilled water, one of the most important things. Get yourself a good soil probe. Yes, you can use a hand trowel or a shovel. Take the top two inches of soil when you're taking your soil samples, but I really suggest that you get a soil probe if you can. Easy, simple to use, self-explanatory. But again, pH is vital, vitally critical. It's more critical than any of the fertilizers that you're gonna apply. If you don't have a balanced pH in your soils, your plants will not be able to take up the nutrients to make them as palatable and nutritious as we possibly can make them for our deer. Thank you. Ryan Nordahl here again with Epic Whitetail Habitat LLC. Good luck with all your summer habitat projects. Keep living the dream. God bless you all. Thanks for joining me.